Okay, let's do some review over this slope intercept stuff. Um, it says we need to fill out this equation so I know the M and the B here. Okay, so there's two things I need to know. I need to know my M, which is my slope, and the B, which is known as the Y intercept. Okay, now my slope's given to me, it's negative 3 over 4. Okay, so that's the x's multiplier. That's what's going to be multiplying the x. So this line goes down 3. For every time it goes down 3, it goes 4 to the right. Okay, then my b, my y-intercept, I need to write y equals m times x plus b. And if you've already got this stuff, more power to you. Okay, so what I need to do is I know that that's x and that's y. Okay, it's in that order. It's like alphabetical. So I need to get rid of the y, the m, and the x, okay? So my y is going to be the negative 4. My m is going to be negative 3 fourths. Now you got to understand that that negative 3 fourths needs to be times by whatever my x is, and that's 8, okay? So it says negative 4 equals negative 3 fourths times 8 plus b. Okay, so I drop my equals, I have negative 4, and now I need to multiply that to find the product. So, negative 3 fourths times 8 gives me negative 6 plus the B. Now, you want to put a, you want to circle the B just so you know that that negative 6 is not multiplying the B. Okay, it's totally outside of it, so I need to add or subtract the negative 6. So it's negative, so I'm going to plus it to get rid of it, and then to the other side. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2, and 2 equals b. Okay, and there's my equation. y equals negative 3 fourths times x plus 2. Okay, now if you want to check your answer, you can, multi you can put an 8 in for x, so negative 3 fourths. And then if x is 8, I would times that by 8, and then I would plus 2, and I hope I get negative 4. If I do, I did it right, and I do. Okay? So there's my answer. Okay, same idea on the next one. So I need to find the m, and I need to find the b. Okay, so my m is my slope, which is negative 5. It's y equals mx plus b. So negative 5x, negative 5 times x. And then the B is Y equals M times X plus B. Okay, why don't you circle the B because you know that's what you're finding. So my Y is 7 at that particular point. And then the multiplier for the X is negative 5. Okay. And then I'll be taking that times negative 4. Now, now what's the product of negative 5 and negative 4? It's 20. So 7, and then you get 20 plus b. Now keep circling that, because it's not 20b, it's 20 plus b. So we got to add or subtract the 20. It's positive, so I'd subtract it. 7 minus 20 is negative 13. Okay. Y equals negative 5 times x. Now if I want to check my answer, I could put, I could take my negative 5, now, x at that point is negative 4, so times negative 4, and then plus the negative 13. And when I click Enter, I'm hoping I get 7, because that's what y is supposed to be equal to at that point, and it is. Okay. A little greater context of how that works. Okay, my next problem. Again, I need to find the m and the b, but this time they don't tell me the slope. Okay. So the slope of a line is y minus y divided by x minus x. So I set those minuses there. And then y is going to be 1 minus negative 5, or negative 5 minus 1. But if you go 1 minus negative 5, you've got to go plus, plus. And then my x is negative 5 and 10. So I've got negative 5 minus and then 10. So that's going to be 6. Negative 5 minus 10 is negative 15. Now we have to divide that. That gives me negative 0 0.4. So that is my m. Okay, negative 4, 0 0.4 times x. 
And then to find the number we're adding, the y-intercept, y equals m times x plus b. Now just pick one of these. I'll go with this one. Okay, so the y is going to be the 1, and then the m is the negative 0 0.4 times, and then my x is going to be negative 5. Okay, so I drop the equals. We get 1, and then negative 0 0.4 times negative 5 gives me 2, positive 2. Positive 2 plus b. Remember, it's not 2 times b, it's 2 plus b. So I need to add or subtract the 2. It's positive, so I would subtract it. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1 equals b. Okay, now if you want to check if your answer is right, you got negative 0 0.4, and then x I could put, I could times that by negative 5, and then plus negative 1, and that better be 1 when I click equals. It is. Now if I want to try 10 times 10, and then plus negative 1, that better be equal to negative 5, because y equals that, and it is. Okay. So y minus y, x minus x. Okay, so what are my y's? 9 minus 2, or 2 minus 9. I'll go 2 minus 9. I'll just flip it. And then 3 minus 4. Or it could be 9 minus 2 and 4 minus 3. It doesn't matter. So negative 7 over negative 1. And I divide that, I get 7. So I need to put a 7 up here. So 7 times x. y equals m times x plus b. And we're solving for the b out of there. Okay, so why pick um, this one? So I'll go with 9. You can pick either one of them. You'll get the same answer for B because it's a line. It should be the same. And M is 7. And then the X is 4. So 7 times 4 is 28 plus B. So 28 is positive, so I minus 28 and minus 28. 9 minus 28 is going to be negative 19. Okay, y equals 7 times x plus negative 19. Now, if you want to insert 3 in for x, so it would be 7 times 3 plus negative 19. I'm hoping I get 2 out of that. I do. Now, if I put 4 in, 7 times 4 plus negative 19, I'm hoping I get 9. Yep. Okay, now let's do some story problems here. A tree is six feet tall when it's planted. It goes at a rate of 0 0.75 feet each year. How tall will that tree be after five years of growing? Okay, so let's talk about this. So we're finding the feet. That's the answer to the problem right there. So obviously I'm going to need a units box. And it's not direct variation, so I am going to need my line. And then I do need my last box to solve. Now, the last number, five years, you need to put that down here. Okay. Okay, so what are my units I have underlined? I've got feet and years. And that'd be X and that'd be Y. So per and it'd be feet per year. Feet per year, each year means per year. Every single year it goes up by 0 0.75. Simple enough. Now, do you have a number of feet that comes before the 0 0.75? Yeah, you got 6. Okay, 6 right there. So 6, easy enough. So my equation is 6. Plus 0 0.75, I don't know how many years it happens, so x equals y. Now where would we put 5 years at? Would it go in for x or y? Well, years is x, so it's got to go in for x. So I parenthesize the x, and I'm just going to replace it with a 5. Okay, and then if I'm just solving for y, I can just plug that into my calculator. 6 plus 0 0.75 times 5. I get 9.75. Okay, so 9.75 feet.
Okay, my next problem. A cable company charges $44 per... By the way, I'm sorry. This $50 installation should come before that. Sorry, I wrote that. Kind of messed up. Cable company charges $50 installation, and they charge $44 per month for basic cable service after a $50 installation fee. Find how many months of service you can afford if you have $1,000 budgeted. So any problem needs a units box. I have them underlined for a reason. It's not direct variation, so we are going to need our line. And we will need to write an equation, and in that equation I plug in the last number, $1,000. So my two underlined words are the dollars and the months. Okay, I would assign the X to the months, and the dollars was Y. So per dollars per month. Dollars per month I have $44. So I need to replace my M with 44. Now, before the $44 per month, we had the $50. That should have come before that. I messed up. I wrote it confusing. So I got 50 plus 44X equals Y. Now, where are you going to put $1,000? Would that be an X or a Y? I think $1,000 is Y. Now to solve for the X, we need to box it. We need to get rid of the 50. So 44 times X is going to equal 950. And then I divide by 44. That tells me how many months this can be for. So 950 divided by 44. It's going to be 21 or 22. 21 you can afford, so 21. When I have a certain amount of money, I can't go over the threshold. Okay, my next one. A gym charges $35 per month after an initial membership fee. That means it was paid one time. A member is paid $250 after six months. This includes a membership fee. Find the total cost of membership for 10 months. Need the units box. It's not direct variation. I would put DV up if it was. So we need a line. Because there is a beginning amount here. And then I'll write my equation. Now the 10 months, the last number, 10 months, goes into the equation. Because you're finding the cost, 10 months. Okay, so what do I have underlined? I've got dollars and months. Only two units, so months should be X, money should be Y. And my dollars per month rate. How much, how, much, how much money is it every single month? I think it's 35. Okay, so $35. So my M is 35. Now, do I have a, no, a money amount before the M? Before the $35? No, okay, I don't. But there is one because there's this membership fee. I would have put DV if there wasn't one. Okay, So if I don't know how much money came before that, I need to use Y equals M times X plus B. And then I'm going to need a combo. Okay, A combination of dollars and months. So, such, so much money is so many months. And I get it with this 250 and 6. So $250 and six months. So I get rid of those three things. Now the M is at 35 we have up there. Now what did Y stand for? Y stood for dollars. So which one of these two is dollars? It's 250. And then I'm going to times that by six. Because you see we had $250. And how did I get $250? Well it's $35 a month times six months, plus the B, which is the membership fee. So 35 times six is $210. So $210 plus my beginning amount, my membership fee. And then to find that beginning amount, we take the 210 and minus it. Remember, don't ever divide to find B. So 40 equals B. So I have $40. 
So now the equation tells a story. We paid $40 plus $10 plus, oh, sorry, $40 plus $35 every month, I don't know how many times that was paid, equals Y. Now, 10 months. Months is X, so we need to replace the X with 10. So 40 plus 35 times 10 equals Y. You've got to put that in for the right letter. You use this legend here, the key. So I go 40 plus 35 times 10, and that gives me 390. So the cost for 10 months is $390. Makes sense. If $250 for 6 months, $390 for 10 months is a logical answer. Okay, my next problem. Over the summer, a student works at a job and makes a certain amount of money. When they go back to school, they spend money at an almost constant rate each month. After five months, the student has $450 in their account. After 10 months, they have $200 in their account. How many months will it take for their account to be $0? So we need a units box. I didn't put DV, so we need the line. Because I know something goes here. Okay, I just don't know what. And then I'm going to write the equation. And into that equation, we're putting the last number, $0. Because it wants to know how many months it took to get down to $0. Okay, so my units are months and money. X is months, Y is money. So per, dollars per month. Okay, well look at some of the dollars. Well, that's not per month. That's over a course of five months, and that's not per month. That's, over, that's after ten months. And I can't just say screw it because I need my line. I need to find something there. I know I'm going to need the line. So to find this, if I don't know it, it's y minus y, x minus x. So we got to know that the y is money. The monies have to go on top, so it's going to be 450 minus 200. And then the months that go there are 5 minus 10. So 250 over negative 5, and that's going to be negative 50. You're like, well, that can't be negative. Yeah, it can because the money goes down. Okay, If you read the problem, the money this guy has is going down. It's not going up. Okay, so my M is negative 50. Now, I didn't even have negative 50 in the problem, so I have no idea what number that Y is supposed to be. I don't know where the money began at, so i got to use the Y equals M times X plus B. And I need a combo of money and months, one of each unit. Okay, well, I read through the problem. Five months, $450 out of work. I would go with the first combination, you see. And now I'm set to go. We can get rid of these three things. Okay, So I know that M is negative 50. Okay. Y is money, so I need to put 450 for Y. You can't get the X and the Y flipped around. You need to use this over here so you know what goes where. And then times the 5. So 450, how did I get to 450? Well, I went down $50 every month over a course of five months. So to find out how much total money we went down, negative 50 times 5. So I went down a total of, of $250 plus B. So what I do is I add the 250 back on, and that will tell me where I began at. So 700 equals B. So I had $700 plus negative 50. I don't know how many times I went down 50, so X equals Y. Now where should $0 go? Well, Y is dollars, so that goes in for Y. Then I box up negative 50X, take away 700. So negative 50X equals negative 700. And then I just divide them by the negative 50, and I end up with a positive, because I end up taking a negative divided by a negative. 14. Okay, so 14 months.